All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today on the channel. But what we have here is more than a rip and ship, more than a build breakdown. We have a fly in and fly out from Captain Cody Clement, Hollywood. Hollywood coming at you live from Texas, not Hollywood. <laughs> Anyway, so we've got uh, the reveal up there. We are just on the south side of Fort Lauderdale Airport and I brought down Nick's Evil Knievel car with mine and these are basically the chariots that we're going to take to the top of the hill because up there, lo and behold, we've got a surprise for Cody. So you guys might have seen some of the sneak peeks on Instagram and social media, but let's just cut to the action and buckle up because it's going to be one epic ride. Woo! It's so much better than the pictures, dude. Uh, so they did show you the pictures before. They just got like a little couple like teasers, dude. Yeah, for sure. It's dude, out of feel that like fighter jet grip. That thing is unreal. <laughs> dude, that's crazy, bro. It is. Grips are like real. And then, is it real? Yeah. It looks like a like, raised edge. Out of control. It'd be hard to top this one. You see why we call him Hollywood. We've got it here on his stage four taxi garage. Crazy, crazy cart. One of one fighter jet edition. So we'll cut to some more pictures of here in a moment, but if you guys want to see, this was a team effort. Nick, Ryan, myself, Tom, Tom, Cody's idea. Dream team comes together and we've got a beautiful one of one TG stage four. And to partner up with that, we've got the Dark Knight Drifts. So this is Batman straight up from Gotham. Came here to battle the uh, fighter jet cart. Um, Ryan, you want to basically go over the special touches that we put on this one? So this one was a joint effort. This, these carts are all hand built by us here at Taxi Garage. This one was actually completely assembled by Nick Ward right here. And Charlie has worked very carefully with the guy who has actually hand airbrushed this entire theme on this cart that you see here today. Um, so basically it always is a team effort when we're out here doing these cart builds But this one obviously just shows the level of dedication that the three of us are doing out here to build these types of crazy ideas um, Bringing them to the life and um, so basically the one thing that I really had a part with here is uh, Doing these little special little details like a you know the drift bar with this special I guess this is from a fighter jet. Yeah, where did you get this? What, what happened? You decided hey you guys are gonna get something in the mail one day, and then lo and behold, what is this? What did you? F sixteen uh, control control stick shows up in the mail, huh? Yeah, and then Char seen action. And then Charlie calls me up and he's like, "Dude, you need to make this thing attached to an XL drift bar somehow." So, work some magic, got this thing on here. I mean, it's just super tray cool to have that grip and be riding this cart with this theme on it. Um, obviously, we have a lot of details going on here. This cart is a complete stage four XL crazy cart sporting our thousand watt motor upgrade. Um, and it obviously has the air cooled fins and we keep the covers off. So obviously you can get some airflow to that front motor and keep it cool while riding. Our special taxi garage chain that works exclusively with the thousand watt motor our Taxi Garage Tensioner with our Tensioner Mod on it as well. Our Taxi Garage Air Knobby Tire, which is our newest tire that we're using for a lot of the XL setups that are making a lot of power now. It tends to have a lot more grip and a lot of bite than the solid tire. They're both great options, but we're trying to give people a lot more, you know, buildability with these things, meaning everyone can kind of dial in their own settings the way they like it. So you come around to the back here, and of course, actually, Charlie has done this super tray cool gray taxi garage seat sticker to Nick's match idea. the theme. Nick's idea. Boom. Then he comes up with the next idea. Boom. Let's do a gray taxi garage 48 volt battery box. So all these little details are what makes us that solid team that are going to bring your dreams to life. And then, of course, we've got the man and the magic stick. I've got the magic stick. Right here, Casey making all of this stuff come to life for you guys on YouTube. So this is just a little taste of what you can get when you place your order with us. So this is his, basically, uh, what Cody likes to call his uh, beater cart, which um, 
in I guess in the essence of comparing these two, yes, it's probably a little uh, shadowed by the fighter jet here. But this is a stage four standard crazy crazy cart here from Taxi Garage, sporting the a 900 watt motor on our Taxi Garage fabricated neck that Ryan makes here in house. 48 volt lithium ion. Uh, 18650 cells that are actually produced by LG, so this is not some type of cheap mimic 18650 battery. There's 52 cells in this box. Super thick ABS box that'll take a lot of shredding. We can even pick the card up by the battery box. It is not cheaply made. When you get around here sporting those wide taxi garage casters, orangutan wheels, uh, and basically Cody is going to uh, thrash this one just like we thrash ours. This one is a little bit more portable than his XL. This is gonna be more for like the car show or ripping around, you know, his man cave or wherever else. This is gonna be the one that you travel with, uh, the one that you rip, crash into people, and um, and have fun, right? Absolutely. Do you have that's the one. That's the one to show, or that's the one to go, that's the one to show. Right? And Tom Tom actually has a little hand in building these. Right, Tom, what did you do on these cards? I put the bearings. Nice, yeah. dude. Yeah. Appreciate hey. you. So yeah, Tom here actually pressed the bearings in all of the orangutans. So Tom wanted to get a little hand in building the carts. He sees them all come to life. Uh, and obviously being Ryan's son, you know, he's got a, a, good, uh, a good mechanical mindset. So basically he pressed all the bearings in the orangutans. Probably, what'd you do? 80 sets? Yeah. I did a lot. 500. I think that uh, Cody's going to do uh, phenomenal. And uh, hopefully... Well, depending. Hopefully it doesn't crash, but if he does, hopefully it's on footage. It happens. <laughs> Send it! Get it. I always wanted to be a Thank you. 